So the question is, would I study at Southeast University all over again if I had to? Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gloria, if this is your first time on the channel and if you're a returning subscriber, what's good fam? So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my experience studying at Southeast University and I'm going to be answering the question, should you or should you not come to study at Southeast University? So if that's something you're interested in knowing about, then definitely keep on watching. I'm currently a master's student at Southeast University and I've been here since 2019. Um, my program was supposed to be rounded up this year, 2021, but due to some unforeseen circumstances, I have pushed my program to round it up by the year 2022. Now, I've gotten a lot of questions concerning um, studying here in, at Southeast University, China, and a lot of people just want to know what you know it's like to study here and if Southeast University is a school they should be considering while applying to study in China. Okay, so according to statistics, Southeast University is one of the top ranking schools in China generally. I think it's in the top 25 top 25 schools in china and that's like a really big deal because there are tons and tons of universities here in china so southeast university does rank very highly and yeah that gives it some sort of prestige and leverage over other universities now it's important however to note that here in china universities don't just rank um in any accord or in any pattern universities actually rank based on certain majors or certain disciplines for example some universities rank higher when it comes to engineering or technology or computer and all of that while other another university might rank higher with respect to medicine and maybe surgery and you know th that kind of disciplines another university may, re may rank higher when it comes to the arts when it comes to language history and all of that so in china you don't just say okay this university is the best or this university is the best rather we say this university is the best when it comes to engineering that university is the best when it comes to uh, I don't know language or that university is the best when it comes to medicine and all of that so you know, different universities are known or rank higher for um, particular or certain subjects now for my school Southeast University Southeast University ranks or is very well known for um, you know engineering subjects and research technology mostly engineering okay if you're doing an engineering course in my school then <laughs> it will be very good for you because you would get almost everything that you need now the implication of this is that if you come to study let's say something like language at my school you might not get the best experience okay despite the fact that southeast university ranks top 25 in the whole of china you might not get the best experience as a language student at Southeast University. And yes, my major is actually teaching Chinese to speakers of other languages. I'm, I'm majoring in masters of teaching Chinese. Okay, so however, generally, if I were to give, um, uh, if I were to give an appraisal or if I were to give a setting you know score to my experience studying in southeast university i wouldn't say it's bad i wouldn't say it's bad uh i i would just say that in the field that i've chosen in my in my field which is language they are not the best secondly i would like to say that studying in china there are some basic rules or there are some basic experiences or there are some shared experiences that everyone who is studying in china has in common okay now those experiences can also be related to you know my experience studying at southeast university studying my course my course my chosen course at southeast university has not been very easy because as i mentioned earlier my school isn't the best when it comes to language it, it's, it, it's, it's not the best because this is not just what they are after this is not what they are specialized in i think that's the word specialized my school they are specialized in engineering courses um i think yeah even some parts of medicine and pharmacy and 
those disciplines they really they really make provisions for them and you know it's 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 better for people who are studying those courses but for me who is studying language a lot of things appear to be disorganized sort of um i mean sometimes you don't even know where to go for certain things maybe for course registration sometimes our courses are clashing i remember in my my first year i was supposed to take some courses but it was clashing with a general course i was supposed to take with you know another people from different disciplines as well and so like the time was literally clashing on the system so when you go to select the course if you can't select your own personal course because the computer automatically selects the general course for you and i was supposed to do this this was the course i could only do in first year okay so like it was paramount that i did it but because i was new here and i didn't know my way around which is something that happens a lot by the way <laughs> but i think this one comes with studying in china generally you're going to be lost a lot of the times but that's okay <laughs> that's why you need to be more alert and just more careful and more active ask questions you know concerning anything you don't understand because you are going to be lost a lot of the times so as i was saying there was this course i was supposed to select but the system wasn't working basically and i remember we called my course mate and i we called the departmental secretary and she was like okay we explained it to her she was like okay i'm gonna look into it i'm gonna call this person or call that person and at the end of the day they didn't really do anything about it and we ended up not being able to select that course and this course selection time expired and we we just had to redo the course in the in the autumn semester of our second year when we're not supposed to be doing anything we're practically supposed to mm, go for our internship during that time but it's because we didn't take that course in first year we had to stay back in school to take that course in second year okay so we, you just have these things whereby you just know that you are not the 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 in, how will i put it you're not just the the special person of the school <laughs> i don't just i i, I I'm, I'm thinking of the word to use you're not the school doesn't care much about you let's just put it that way the school doesn't care much about your discipline and about your faculty so you guys you guys can just you know sort yourselves out anyhow you like so that's that about that and yeah aside from that i feel like generally everybody gets the gets this feeling of being overwhelmed overwhelmed sometimes with school work and just you know having a lot to do and i also had that experience at southeast university i mean <laughs> first year was hell it was a lot and being my first time you know studying abroad out of the country it was very different from what i was used to in my own home country so i had a lot of adjusting to do i had a lot of catching up to do basically in china everything is just happening at the same time okay you're having so many courses you're having to go to class you're having so many assignments it was just a lot sometimes you you almost get overwhelmed okay so I, I, I felt it was a little too much. I felt a little overwhelmed. I remember there was even this one course where we had to like even study mathematics in Chinese. And I'm just like, okay, what do I need this for? I thought I was studying teaching Chinese to speakers of other languages. Where does maths come in? But I was seeing maths and X and this and that. And it was just crazy. It's only God that know how I passed all those courses, but I shall pass them. Talking about that aspect, it can be very overwhelming. It was overwhelming for me in the first year. I mean, in the second year, yeah, I was beginning to adjust. Finally, when it comes to, um, when it comes to, you know, other aspects, for example, accommodation, I would say the accommodation planning at Southeast University is very good or it's very okay uh, because I didn't have a lot of issues with accommodation. Yeah, they will always um, give you a nice room with a roommate everybody has a roommate for those of you who have watched my video on um yeah southeast university dormitory yeah you get a roommate as a master student and recently too as a phd student before phd students had one room to themselves but from recent um recent developments now phd students have to share a room as well now also talking about maybe other issues the school tries the school tries to you know 
help the students where they can even though if you ask me it's not enough i mean there are still a lot of times when you just find yourself lost and needing support or solution that you don't get either you don't get it in time or something goes wrong before you get it i mean i don't know i just feel like it could be better okay i just feel like it could be better i'm not i'm not trying to make this video too long i just wanted to give you guys uh an, a rundown of what my experience has been studying at southeast university and yeah i hope this video kind of gives you guys an idea of everything that you've been asking me about like i said southeast university is one of the top ranking schools in china and they do live up to that name in some aspects however in some other aspects mm, not so much but it doesn't stop it from being a great school it doesn't stop it from being a very good school and of course if you have your degree from southeast university you can trust me that anywhere you go to look for a job they're going to be looking at you like somebody who went to a very good school okay it doesn't matter the discipline you did there <laughs> So if you're planning to come to study at South East, it's still a very good idea. You're very much welcome. <laughs> yeah, that's it for this video. If this is your first time on my channel, please make sure to subscribe and join the family. And yeah, like this video, comment and let me know what you guys think about your various schools in China. If you can relate to my point. And yeah, let me know what you guys think about this video. And I'm going to catch you guys in my next one. Bye guys.